I don't need to tell you how wonderfully useful, no, essential, chat GPT is in every walk of life, whether it's creating content, optimizing workflows, making lists, or explaining what you need to know in a far better way than using any search engine. You can at least 10 times your productivity and grow your business faster by using ChatGPT to create marketing materials, letters, you can sort out contracts, generate ideas, summarize long documents, or anything else you can think of. It's astonishing. But, and it's a big but, the effectiveness of ChatGPT hinges on the principle of garbage in, garbage out. Yeah, the quality of your inputs determines the quality of the outputs. Crafting a quality prompt is absolutely essential to getting meaningful and accurate outputs that meet your needs. Now, this involves more than simply typing a question. It needs careful thought about your goals, and ChatGPT needs to know the context. It can't read your mind. So the more exact, the better. So don't worry about overwhelming ChatGPT. It's not a human who has Monday mornings or long lunch breaks, you know. So look, I'll let you into a secret, easy to use resource I've found soon that makes things much, much easier. But look, let's look at the principles first. When creating prompts, consider clarity, specificity, and context. Think about your audience. Are you crafting content for professionals, for students, for casual readers? You know, this affects the tone. For example, you need to say, do you want it in a formal tone, casual, a technical form, more format? What does your, what does your audience already know? You know, there's no point telling them what they already know. What don't they yet know? These are the same kinds of questions you need to ask yourself, of course, when you're writing anything manually, but chat GPT needs to know as well. And you also need to specify word count and or depth such as asking for a 200-word summary or a detailed 2,000-word explanation, things like that. Consider nuances in language styles, such as uh, requesting British English or Australian English versus American English, or uh, adopting an approachable versus a formal academic tone, or aiming at people who maybe don't have English as a first language. All these things are important. You can tell it as much as you like. It'll work it out and you get more targeted results. So you can include instructions like this and that makes the AI output much more useful for you. Let's say you want um, a guide written for new dog owners on basic dog care. So bad prompt, write about dogs. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, it's obviously a vague, it, it lacks focus. It leads to irrelevant or vague general information about this. So a good prompt would be something like, write a 500-word guide for first-time dog owners, including tips on feeding, on exercise, training, and healthcare. Yeah? Use a friendly and accessible tone. Include specific examples for certain main popular breeds. That is what you want, yeah? If that's what you want. So it's good because it specifies the audience, first-time dog owners, uh, the scope, feeding, exercise, training, healthcare, the word count, tone, and it ensures a focused and relevant response. So the better the prompt, the better the output will be. You get the idea here. Now, look, if you're serious about taking your chat GPT skills to the next level, I have found something really useful. It's called the Prompt Profits Accelerator Bundle over at AIMarketer.ai. It's packed with expert crafted prompt kits that will give you everything you need to master AI and grow your business. It's all done for you. You don't have to think, well, a little bit. Whether you're a beginner or, or maybe you're already using ChatGPT, this fantastic bundle will accelerate your journey, helping you work smarter and faster in ways you never thought possible. So if you're ready to unlock the true potential of ChatGPT and skyrocket your productivity, Click the link somewhere around this video to find out more. And thanks very, very much for watching.